Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques that help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. So, um, I'm always trying to bring more awareness into the shoulder girdle rib cage, right? So we, we talk a lot about the movement of the scapula on the rib cage, but we don't often appreciate that if the ribs are locked down, right, the scapula lives on the rib cage. And if those upper ribs are locked down, that is also going to inhibit really good dynamic movement in the shoulder girdle. So this is a kind of a alternative mermaid that adds a little bit of that mobilization of the ribs to get the shoulders going. So I have one red spring here and you want to have the backs of the um, shins gently reaching into the frame. Feet are flat, knees are together and then it's kind of like a modified mermaid. So we sweep the carriage out by lengthening the pelvis away from the foot bar, standing in this um, foot bar arm and then just come back in. So you do a few of those just to mobilize, right? To open the side rib cage, to feel that stretch and to connect the arm into the spine via the spring. And we'll do one more. So we're reaching the carriage out. And then to get the shoulders going a little bit more, I cue them to rotate towards the spring, but let the carriage come in as the shoulder blade pulls back. And then you press back out into the side bend from the arm and then come back in. So lots of mobility here in the upper thoracic ribs and you're driving it from the shoulder blade. Now, a couple of things to watch for is that the carriage doesn't adjust as you're working that shoulder blade. So sometimes I'll have them bring their hand here so they feel lots of length and then they want this space between the collarbone and the upper arm to shorten or close and the carriage should move in. And then they want to press the carriage out to open that space and come back home. What you will find is that they'll go to their side bend and then they'll rotate, but they won't let the shoulder blade retract. So I'm looking for that retraction, protraction, again, to get more mobility, slide and glide in those upper ribs, just around the shoulder blade to liberate the shoulders. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. See you next time and never stop learning.